Okay, today we're going to learn something uh, called a random walk matrix. Um, we'll take a look, first of all, at uh, four cities, uh, city one, two, three, and four. And um, we'll connect uh, uh, some of the cities with uh, a street right here, or a line. And uh, what we're going to do is um, define uh, the elements inside of a matrix according to these rules. Um, we'll put a 1 inside the uh, uh, matrix element uh, if there is a line between uh, one of the cities and the other one. Uh, we'll put a 0 if there is no line between uh, the cities. So let's try to uh, make this matrix right here. Um, what we'll do is we'll look at uh, city number 1 and city number 2. Uh, here's city 1, here's city 2, and they intersect at this point right here. And if we look at city 1 and city 2, there's a line between them. Do you see that? And it doesn't go through any other city. And so we'll put a 1 right there. How about between city 1 and city 3? That would be this element right here. Um, between city 1 and city 3, yep, there's a line between them. And so we'll also put a 1 uh, right in there. And how about between uh, city 1 and and city 4. Uh, no, there's no line between city 1 and city 4. Uh, you might say, let's go this way, but uh, you have to go through a city. So the line would be, is defined as some uh, 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 street that, that would, does not go through another city. Uh, if there were a street going like this, then that would be fine. Or a street going uh, around this way, uh, that would be fine. But there is no street going around this way. Uh, so there is no uh, line between 1 and 4 uh, that connects them without having to go through another city. Uh, so if there is no line between uh, uh, 1 and 4, we'll have to put a 0 in that element. So here's 1, and here's 4, and they intersect at this element. And we'll put a 0 there because there's no line between uh, 1 and 4. Uh, next, let's look at this element right here. It's the city 2 and the city 3. And uh, if we look at the city 2 and the city 3, um, yes, there's a line that goes between city 2 and city 3. So we'll put a 1 right there uh, at city 2 and city 3 intersection is right there, 1. Uh, how about 2 and 4? Is there a line between 2 and 4? Uh, yes, there's a line between 2 and 4. And so we'll put a 1 in that element right there. Uh, next we'll do uh, city 3. And city 4, let's see, city 3, we'll come over here, there's city 4, so this is the element we're talking about. Uh, between 3 and 4, uh, there is a line that goes through those uh, two cities, uh, that connects those two, two cities. And so 3 and 4 intersect at this element, we will put a 1 there, according to this rule right here, there's a line. Oh, Kiroki. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll do uh, these diagonal elements. And the third rule is, if i was equal to j inside the matrix, uh, then we'll put a 0. Um, so, uh, 1, 1 is this element, i equals j, uh, so we'll put a 0. 2, 2 is this element, 0. 3, 3 is this one, and 4, 4 is this one. And so that all of those will get zeros along the diagonals. And they always will in a random walk matrix. All the diagonals will always be uh, zeros. Okay. Uh, next, you want to worry about the lower half of the matrix. Um, but if we notice, um, if we were to, we can do these rules again and see, hey, does three and two they they go uh, intersect at this? Uh, do they have a line between them? Yes, they do. So put a one. But a much faster way is, and uh, this will always work for a random walk a walk matrix is that it's always symmetric uh, to the uh, diagonal. Uh, so uh, 1 will go with 1, 1 will go with 1, 0 will go with 0, 1 will go with 1, uh, 1 will go with 1, and 1 will go with 1. So these elements are always symmetric to the upper level, upper, uh, upper, upper triangular uh, matrix. Uh, this is a symmetric matrix at all times. Will be for all random walk matrices. Okay, so we've generated our matrix A. 
uh, what can we do with that? Why are we doing all of this work? Well, I'll have to spin the web a little bit here, and but we get it. Uh, we get our reason for doing this uh, work right now. Um, what we're going to figure out is the number of ways to get from one city to another city in a certain amount of steps. And uh, the way we'll do that is uh, we'll find the element in a certain matrix uh, where A is to some power. And the power will be the number of steps. But that's a little bit confusing, so let me try to explain it with, uh, with an example. Um, what we're going to do is square this matrix... And square just means, of course, just the same thing as with a number. It means take the matrix, and the matrix, by the way, is only inside the green area. Area, area. Uh, this is not part of the matrix. Uh, the matrix is four by four. It's these uh, uh, sixteen cells inside here. So matrix A. If you take A times A on a calculator or computer program, or you can do it by hand if you know how to multiply matrices. A times A will give you this. I've already done the work for you. So a squared is this. Now, what's a cubed? Well, again, you could take uh, this matrix and put in a calculator and, and ask for a cubed or a computer, and it'll give you a cubed, and this will be a cubed. Um, okay, uh, we could do a to the fourth and a to the fifth and so on, uh, but I'm going to use a cubed as an example for what we uh, what we use random walk matrices for. Um, what we're going to do is find the number of ways to get from city 1 over here to city 2 but we have to do it in three steps okay i'm going to show you an ex uh five examples of that uh so if you wanted to get to city 1 to city 2 in uh i'm sorry in three steps uh in, in we need to get there in three steps um uh from city 1 to city 2 so look notice we could do one step, two steps to one step to city three, two steps to city four, and finally three steps would take us to city two. That's one way we could do it, or we could go uh, from um, uh, city one to city two, back to city one, and back to city two. That would take three steps. I know that seems a little bit silly, but uh, this mathematics is used for uh, things that are. Uh, Sometimes have to do this to get there. Um, here we are at starting at city one. We go to city two. We travel to city three, and one more step, and that's the third step. We'll go back to city two. So in three steps, one, two, three, we get to city two. Um, here's another one. We could go to city two, go to city four, and then back to city two. That would take three steps to get from city one to city two. And finally, we could go to, from City 1 to City 3, back to City 1, and then over to City 2, City 2, and that would take uh, three steps also. And you wonder, is there any more ways we can do it? Well, no. There's only five ways to get from City 1 to City 2 in three steps. If you wanted to do it in two steps, it might be different. But if you want to do it in three steps, and you have to do it in three steps, there are five different ways, and I've shown you the five different ways. Well, a lot of times we don't want to do all that work to figure this out, you know, especially if somebody says, hey, uh, do uh, 50 steps or 60 steps. It'll take us years to figure out all the different ways uh, to do that. So what would be nice is to use mathematics to make a very difficult job uh, much simpler. So what we could do is, if you want to do three steps from one city to another city, uh, don't look at a squared, don't look at a to the one or a to the fourth, look at a cubed, because the power is the number of steps that you will be do using as you travel from one city uh, to the termination city, from the starting city to the termination city. So, okay, we'll look at a cubed. Here is a cubed. What in here tells us that it's five, there are five ways to do these uh, three steps from city one to city two. Well, just like we did city one to city two and looked at this element, we'll do it in the A cubed. And if we look at city one and city two, the element is right here, the intersecting element, and it says five. <clears throat> and sure enough, that is how many times 
uh, uh, how many ways we can take three steps to get from city one to city two. And notice you can read all other ones too. Uh, so for instance, if you wanted to go from city one to city four, uh, there would be only two ways if you wanted to do it in three steps. Uh, again, if you wanted to do it in four steps, we'd have to look at A to the fourth power, and so on. I just wanted to stop at three, because I thought that would be a good example that it would have uh, a few, but not too many uh, things to, to look at. So this is what we use random walk matrices for, and, and they're utilized in, uh, in a lot of um, uh, 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 engineering and, and mathematical uh, uh, studies. I hope you enjoyed this uh, lecture, and I look forward to any comments you have at the bottom. Thank you very much.